Well, it was a cold morning to be out on the water, certainly, but the sun is shining and things are warming up for your Wednesday. KDK First Alert Meteorologist Felicia Woody. We're not going to go far as say here it's going to be summer like, but heck, it's pretty great for October. Hey, I'm not complaining, and I bet a lot of people are because this is the perfect temperature range, the nice, comfortable range where we don't hear too many complaints about the weather, and it's nice to finally have some sunshine after being socked in the clouds from the remnants of Ian. We started off in the mid-40s, and now we're in the low 60s with a light breeze, and Ian is still a problem off to the east, still turning up lots of rain. They've been socked in the clouds, continuing to get showers after showers, and we finally pushed that off to the east and we are high and dry for the rest of our Wednesday. A look at temperatures were ranging from the mid 50s higher up all the way down or all the way up into the mid 60s in terms of temperatures as you head further lower in elevation. Highs today, upper 60s, lower 70s. Get outside and enjoy it. Lows tonight, we're going to go somewhere into the mid 40s. And then high temperatures tomorrow, another repeat of today, upper 60s, lower 70s, and then we're done with the 70s at least for a couple of days. Pitts homecoming, a lot of events going on this week. Main one's happening on Friday, and of course the homecoming game on Saturday where Virginia Tech is in town. Looks like Friday we may have to dodge some of those spotty showers, and then Saturday for the game is looking completely dry, which is good, but it is going to be very chilly. And let me go ahead and show you what those showers we're talking about on Friday first. This is the morning hours. You may have to use those windshield wipers as you're headed off to work and possibly during the evening. But I don't think the rain is going to be much of a downer when it comes to anything happening on Friday. You may have to just notice a few raindrops here and there, but the big story is that it's going to be very, very brisk, very chilly. Temperatures are going to drop throughout the day on Friday because that cold front is going to be ushering that cooler air all throughout the day. And then we should be done with the rain by Saturday. The rain that we see Friday that's the only rain we have in store, at least for the next week. Actually, we don't need much rain chances when it comes to the foliage. We need that little bit of rain, but we don't need a whole ton of rain. So hopefully we can try and get some bright foliage this year with this forecast. Low 70s for today, tomorrow, and then we bottom out into the 50s, at least for Friday, Saturday, and possibly Sunday. We're going to try and make a run for 60 degrees, but we do warm back up by next week. The big story, though, this weekend is not only how chilly it is going to be in the afternoon, but how cold it's going to be in the morning. We're expecting widespread frost across the region with lows bottoming out in the mid to upper 30s. You're making the few hour trip up to Buffalo this weekend. Well, the Steelers are taking on the Bills and temperatures up there, mid 50s. Looks like the game is going to be dry. So upper 40s tonight, patchy fog possible tomorrow, increasing clouds, low 70s. Your seven day forecast is looking mostly dry. We will warm back up into the 70s by the middle of next week.